Hello, my awesome and amazing Leos. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Today is May 4th of 2023 for you Star Wars fans out there. May the 4th be with you, right? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and my Leo subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Let's see here. Power of number seven. Yes, some of you Leos were born in the month of July. We could see the chariot card kick in. Something about forward movement could be about victory and success. Or basically, Leo, you have the green light to proceed forward in regards to something that is of value to you or of great importance. Power of number five, we could see the Hierophant, something about your faith, your belief, maybe being spiritually inclined or you're spiritually gifted, spiritually anointed. This could also be about long-term committed partnerships. Um, however, there could be some conflict that's going on, picking up on the five of wands and or the five of swords. And power of number seven, so 757. But adding up the numbers brings us to the power of number woohoo, 19. What is 19 in tarot? Guess what? The sun card represented by the sign of Leo. <laughs> so maybe we will see the sun card. This can represent health, wealth, prosperity, abundance, commitment, marriage, uh, pregnancy, baby showers, everything that is good, everything that you are worthy of, Leo, okay? Power of number 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Okay. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and my Leo subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? What does Leo need to know at this time frame? Mm. Hanged man mode. Possibly gaining some kind of new perspective, seeking wisdom, clarity, or insight, or it could feel, Leo, that somebody is keeping you like a puppet on a string right now. Mm. Let's see with this delayed energy or gaining a new perspective. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Ride the wave, Leo. Your ships are going to be coming in. So if you've been feeling like there's some kind of stagnant energy, something here is going to shift. So it almost feels like there's a breaking point from where you feel like you're in a stuck position. And then it's like making some kind of movement or whatever it is that you've been waiting on or waiting for is going to start coming in. It could be within the next three minutes. It could be three days or even three weeks. Okay, let's go into... The Kipper deck. Let's see what's going on. Mm, bad health. You know, I mean, some of you, yeah, could have gone through some something chronic uh, health-wise or a health challenge, but you know what I'm feeling this is more of? This could be people, I don't know, let's put it this way. There could be people in your environment who are toxic that kind of 
you know, they can either manipulate you, they could be creating some kind of stress, you could be going through mental stress right now. Um, there could be some pent up anxiety, maybe some even depression from time to time. Uh, hopefully that if that were the case that you have the opportunity uh, to seek out professional counseling or professional help if need be. Um, you could be resting or trying to recuperate maybe because you're exhausted. You could have had, you know, a lot of irons in the fire right now, Leo. And it could very well be true that spirit may be tapping you on the shoulders to say, Leo, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to rest. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So keep charging ahead, okay, for what it is that you want. But spirit saying, look, your immunity could be down, down right now. You could be going through seasonal allergies, you know, or it just could be mental stress. Okay. Some of you could, you know, maybe not be sleeping well at night, or maybe you're going to bed really late, you know, maybe sometimes around one, two o'clock in the morning. Um, and maybe having to set your alarm and you're maybe on three to four hours of sleep, depending on, you know, the type of work schedule that you have. But Right now, spirit saying, rest your mind because you're in the right place at the right time and these ships are going to be coming in, okay? So all of your effort or your work is not going to go in vain for nothing if you, you know, take a step back and say, you know what? I need to take a break. I need to rest. I need to think things through. I need a moment of me time. And maybe you're giving and giving and giving, Leo, to a lot of other people. It could be to friends. It could be to a business. It could be to the company you work for. Um, it could even be about you trying to set some healthy boundaries so that you're not taking, you know, not under this type of stress, you know. And some of you Leos do work out. I am hearing that from spirit. So some of you have taken the opportunity to take back control, getting back into personal power and control, taking um, taking your health into your hands to maybe correct certain things in order for you to function better, perform better, etc. But for those of you that have a really wicked, crazy, busy schedule and you feel like you just can't catch a break, spirit is like, look, nobody's going to give you permission to take a break until you clearly decide to take a break. Don't feel guilty to take a break, to take a step back, to go rogue, to go silent. Go rest your mind. You know, maybe everybody expects you, <clears throat> if you're, let's say for example, let's just say you're very popular you know, among your peers, your friends, your family members, whatever. Maybe they expect you to be out and about all the time. Or that your energy levels are supposed to be boom, 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 all the way up there. And maybe you're absorbing these people and their energy. And it could be affecting you. It could be affecting you mentally, physically, um, emotionally. Give yourself permission to take a step back and learn how to keep setting healthy boundaries. Don't feel guilty to say no because your ships are going to come in. Maybe people just expect a lot out of you, Leo, and you're just maybe you're just at that breaking point where every you just feel like you want to say to everybody, just stop. Back up. I need me time. I need alone time. I need to rejuvenate myself. Let's see what the ships coming in is for you. There could be a false person. There could be somebody in your social circle, your friends, your family members that has been deceptive. Maybe there's been empty promises. Promises made, promises broken, right? Who is this 
false person, trust and ancestors in Leo's environment, please, that could be causing some stress. This could be a specific person. Maybe some of you are already in a relationship dynamic or connection. And who knows, Leo, maybe somewhere in the grand scheme of it all, maybe you're hoping that somebody that you're dating is just going to move on from you. Maybe because you feel that the relationship has become very toxic and um, you just can't take it anymore. You know, maybe you're tired of getting played. Somebody could be breadcrumbing you, could be a false person. Who is this? Who is this false person? Somebody who's spying in on you, maybe watching your every move, Leo. Page of Swords could be an air sign. An Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, see, before I shuffle again, Four Swords, take a break, Leo. Time to put a halt on something here, to take a step back, to rest rejuvenate. This false person could be draining you, depleting you. This could be a toxic mother figure. It could be a toxic father, could be a toxic sibling, toxic specific person, or somebody of interest that could be draining, draining you right now. Trusted ancestors... <laughs> Who is this false person that's spying in on Leo? Ooh, tower card could be a Scorpio and or possibly an Aries. I don't know, Leo. Somebody here could be also praying in on your downfall that you don't succeed, that you don't find your happiness. Or you're hoping for some kind of a breakthrough to where you can go into, we'll say, that Four of Swords type of energy where you could just kind of walk away, you know, walk away and just let the noise go so you can think. Maybe somebody here smothers you or makes you feel claustrophobic. They could be up, up, basically up your ass. They could be up your behind and it's just like, it could be you just don't feel like you have breathing room. Like you're always being, it could feel like you're being watched like a hawk right now. Message from the tower. Two of wands. Yeah. You could be daydreaming right now, Leo, thinking about being, wanting to be somewhere else. Wanting your peace. Because you go from the two to the three. But there's this person behind the scenes that is plotting and planning some kind of disruptive energy. Why would... They, you know what? Let me add up some numbers here. Hang on one second. Bear with me. We're going to go to the number 26. Teamwork and collaboration. Three of Pentacles, this could be a co-worker situation. Uh, there could be a co-worker that's trying to take you down right now, Leo. So fair warnings for armed. Could be in a work environment situation or some kind of a, it could be a lover's partnership. We have the lover's activity, bottom of the deck. Could be a Gemini or possibly a Cancerian for some of you. Why is this person trying to take Leo down, please? Could be over money. It could be because of commitment. There could be commitment issues. This can also be a toxic friend or family member. Could be family. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I am picking up there is a form of jealousy going on. Now 
Message from the King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. There's a power couple here. A king and a queen of the same suit. <clears throat> Picking up on jealousy. Yeah, jealousy. Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. It is the truth. Somebody doesn't want you to succeed, Leo. Or they're jealous. Or somebody here is with a gold digger. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, there's going to be an ending. Ten of swords. There has to be an ending. Whatever, whoever this false person is, they do create a lot of conflict and drama. So whether this is a specific person, if this is a friend or a family member, no, it, there, there's some kind of havoc, something that needs to come to an end. And you need rest and rejuvenation, Leo. <sighs> Let me take a look at this Ten of Swords. I want to see what moon cycle is going to support this energy, this ending that actually does need to come in order for real peace, real peace of mind, because the peace could be a part of the ships coming in. It's going to happen during the new moon phase. So wherever there's an ending, there's going to be a new beginning. So we won't have a new moon until uh, the season of Gemini. So on the cusp line of Taurus into Gemini season. So there could be endings to old karmic patterns and cycles to where for the first time, maybe in a while, Leo, you're going to be able to take a step back and breathe. And there could also be a revelation here that... Um, Whoever you're interested in, there could be, um, this person could be false. They could be lying to you about wanting to be with you, but they could be in a committed partnership with someone else or somebody is falsifying their feelings or somebody is trying to take you for everything that you got, or this is friends and family or parental figures that are expecting, maybe even demanding things out of you. And that's why I said I kept seeing the word stop, you know, um, just people who could try to be all up in your business and it's creating some form of, you know, traumatic stress on the brain. You just maybe you haven't been able to think for yourself. I don't necessarily feel that this is all doom and gloom, but there is somebody here that either doesn't want you to succeed or you could be trying to break free of somebody. Maybe it's a toxic, narcissistic, abusive relationship and you're trying to get out of this and seek refuge um, out of the clenches of this narcissistic false person that can't maybe seem to let you go. Some of you, you never know. You could be in fear to leave. And if that's the case, I sincerely hope you will get professional um, assistance, a professional help to get you out of, to walk away from this person because this person doesn't have the greatest intentions. You know, there, there's almost what I'm picking up with the page of swords that there's a little bit of besides spying or somebody trying to watch your every move or you get, if you get questioned by somebody specific, like, well, why are you going there? And why are you hanging out with this person? Or, you know, maybe, uh, they're trying to gaslight you or ghost you or, um, triangulate you, uh, whatever the case may be. It just feels like you haven't really had Leo, um, a real sense of freedom to be able to breathe, something feels very, I keep hearing the word claustrophobic, something's very claustrophobic where it could be, you know, weighing heavily. Just call upon your guardian angels and your trusted ancestors to keep putting you on the path of least resistance and to have that Leo courage and that Leo strength to stand up for yourself if need be and to be able to effectively communicate and set healthy boundaries. And if you feel com that compelled, Leo, to move on from a existing relationship, if it's with a friend, a family member, if it's a specific lover, and you're not exactly getting what you want, or somebody's breaking their promises to you, maybe you need to sit down and just really evaluate and say, you know what, where's my happiness? You know, where's my happiness? Because there's some kind of stress. There's like some form of a, a mental stress that's going on. 
uh, with this bad health card, or you could feel keyed up or anxious from time to time. Um, but yeah, your ships are going to be coming in or there's going to be an ending for a new beginning. Let me, let me quickly take a look at that energy of the new, the new moon. What is this new start? What is this? Yeah, this is about peace. This is going to remember how he's talking about peace of mind, peace of heart. If it helps you any, Leo, if you've been really feeling out of sync, out of balance, and you never know, you may be a little bit affected by this full moon in the sign of Scorpio that is going to be a full moon lunar eclipse. You may even feel that your lion energy may feel a little wonky and yeah guess what we're still in this mercury retrograde and ugh, i can't wait until the 14th is over with <laughs> by the time we get to may 14th and the in the retrograde is over with excuse me so they do have on youtube it's just an idea it's just a suggestion um, to clear and cleanse out your seven chakras because whoever this false person is somehow some way is creating a disruption in your energetic force field and your chakras may end up needing to get aligned and for you to have this sense of peace and not feeling the way I'm seeing it in today's reading something about being again claustrophobic or somebody's watching you your constant move you know, and it can make you feel at times that who knows that you're walking in on eggshells, but bottom of the deck is the judgment call. You may, spirit may be pushing you out of your comfort zone, Leo, to start making some heavy decisions about what needs to put, what needs to come to an end, a stop so that this is like a new chapter, a new dawn, a new era in your life. You know what I mean? So, um, take it easy if you can over the next few days. And just keep calling on your guardian angels to guide you, motivate you, inspire you, and enjoy some silence. You know, even if you can get a couple hours of silence just to go and reflect and go within, that would be more than, than you could ever know, you know, and um, that can kind of help lead the, the new way, the new path for you to start feeling balanced again when you set healthy boundaries and if you have to say no to someone, say no and don't feel guilty about it. Your health, your health comes first. Your mental health comes first. Okay. So my beautiful, awesome Leos, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.